Greetings, greetings, greetings. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Allow me to begin by bringing this entire vibration into centering it. can go louder. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? You see, everything is a vibration from sound vibration to our own vibration and the vibration of no matter what, we are together. And it doesn't matter if we are close to one another because there is a sense of closeness just by being present. So welcome and I thank you for being here. Wow, we've got two days to go for Christmas and the holidays. And next thing you know, we are in the new year, welcoming it. And I am positive 2021 will be a year of abundance and with God's blessings. So much more coming. But how do we create abundance? So last week, hi Zarik, hi Sadajan, how are you feeling? Uh, last week I posted something and today I want to talk about how you empower yourself. And just like a few moments ago, I had I just finished a session with a client and he was talking about everything that is happening with COVID and worry uh, and how he gets into this funk of negativity and everything. You know, negativity can be around you at all times. Haters, naysayers are always there. But how you respond to it, how you take it, how you incorporate it and become so focused on the negative instead of the positive, it's up to you. Being in the holiday spirit, I truly know there are so many who are not celebrating because they feel with everything that is happening or a loss within their family and friends, loss of job, hardships and challenges, it's hard to celebrate. And what is celebration? I understand we're not celebrating with big families. We're not doing the parties. For so many years, a lot of people look forward to Christmas and gift giving, even coming together for dinner with family and loved ones. But the spirit of Christmas is not in our things. The spirit of Christmas is in the experiences. And I want to share this because the experience that you have and what you can make in the core secular home first and foremost with you that you can you know how i usually say talk to the hand i'm sorry the hand is busy and you bring it close i know it can be funny and yet it's not because energetically it's the naysayers and the haters 
or the jealous, it's not about you. It's about them. So if they have not accomplished it or they look at you or something like that and they want to take you down, put you down or from your success, because every one of us has the ability to either learn, has the ability to say yes, just like this year with all the COVID, with all the negativity. A lot of people got PPP, right? The money. My office didn't. I did not. So I can sit, mourn, and cry about it, talk about it, and be jealous of it, become a hater or naysayer about the ones, all those who got it. Instead, it pushed me to a brink to say, what can I do myself? What can I do for me? So I believe I accomplished a lot. And I want you to do the same thing. Do a little bit of a soul searching within yourself and recognize the things that you learned about you, even if it might be something harder and negative, but it's a lesson. That's right, Zarek John, not everybody did. And yet today you are here. Today you worked it. You open your doors and you still welcome the brides and the grooms. So that in itself, I believe taught you that no matter what the outside circumstances, you can stand up for yourself. And you can make it work. Maybe cut from here, there, but you managed it. And I believe that in itself gives you this sense of self-accomplishment, self-pride. So there is nothing more powerful than self-pride from the moment that we stand up from the moment we learn to speak and our words are understood and when we get a response because even as a child when a child cries the parent or the caregiver comes and holds them con uh, consoles them and wants to make it better as we grow up, when you bang your finger or when you cut your finger, right, at an envelope, which is, I think, it's like ah, one of the worst cuts, opening an envelope and cutting that because that thing stinks. You put it in your mouth, it's as if kissing it. And immediately it's like, mm, right? It's okay, I wash my hands. That in itself is called self care, self love, and self pamper. I care for me. And when we get oh, focused on the negativity, we forget how much power we have. When you get into that funk, remember. Hmm. Remember you. Remember your abilities. If you started a business, remember what was your why. Because the, your why was, was much stronger to see people happy, to see people benefit, to see people comfortable, to see people heal, to see people, their result becomes your why. You know, Heal Within was created to help others heal as I healed through hypnotherapy. For the longest time, I didn't recognize what the word or my business name meant. 
And you know, they say, as you heal others, you heal as well. As you strengthen others, you become stronger. As you help someone else, it's as if you are helping yourself. And that's why giving in the spirit of Christmas, when Santa brings or your loved ones give you and gift you what you want, that joy, that smile, the thank you is worth millions. So it's not about the things. It's about the response and the joy that we see that fulfills internally. So when my clients get the result, and most of my clients, I want you to know this, experiencing hypnosis is so powerful. It is an inner and self gift to yourself. I even teach my clients how to do self hypnosis the same way as I do self hypnosis to have a root canal or to stop uh, anything, any habit that I wish. I can go months and months and not do something. Just the other night, I was talking to a friend of mine and she says, are you not addicted to something? No, I do have habits like my daily bananas and my nine nuts. I count because I'm all about numbers. But if I take it and not even consider, that's okay too. But I will drop the rest of them because there is only so much I need to have. And we forget that we all are able to do the same thing. So the simplest way, and just like an, a client of mine was saying that I cannot hypnotize myself, cannot means I've already failed. I'm already telling myself I cannot because I know everyone given, if you give yourself permission or allow to experience this trance state, you can. So why am I segueing into this? Because humming can be so profound in creating inner vibration. And as you focus on your breath and humming, which is a sound within the same way as I created the sound this beginning, you can do this. One more time. Uh... And one more time. Let's do it in three, right? Uh... This vibration is the same as when singers want to um, vibrate their throat and get it ready for singing. They do all kinds of practices. The same way as someone who wants to run, they warm up before they go on a climb or a run or something like that. This vibration helps not only your throat chakra, the vibration, our energy point in our throat, but it also opens all the vibration throughout your body, also relaxes you the same way as when a child, as a baby, we put them upon our bosom as moms, and we do this. So the child and the baby learn 
not only the vibration upon your chest, the vibration within themselves, and they become in sync with your body. Also, the sound of healing, nurturing, comforting, plus knowing that they are safe. And that is exactly what we as adults must remember. Experiencing hypnosis, trance state, meditative state is all internal. So when we are healing within, I help my clients, I help you get into this beautiful state of your own oneness, inner connection, inner oneness, to hear yourself, to experience that comfort within, instead of the negativity, come into a safe place within yourself. Plus, express, find inner joy and inner peace. Because bottom line, in order for us to heal within, we must realize transformation begins by you saying yes to you. To you. That's the beginning of everything. Here's another technique you can use the same way as we vibrate and we do the humming. If you also feel that you are upset or angry or something like that, you know what breaks that negativity? The same thing as the humming, which is vibration and sound. So when someone cuts in front of you, while you're driving or says something derogatory, do this. This sound of applause, appreciation, breaking the sound. Sorry for being loud, but sometimes you have to break that sound, the barrier of the negativity, the naysayers, the haters and everything and applaud you applaud yourself someone cuts in front of you instead of getting angry <laughs> applaud them because they were able to do it and by applauding them you are applauding yourself by allowing them to go in front of you and by all means whatever happens it's yours thank you for giving me a second for me to be late for whatever reason and that brings the spirit of giving and being grateful because you never know that one second that one minute of you taking the time to celebrate and clap and break that negativity was the best gift you give and safeguard yourself from something else so I guess today's message, the same way as I started our holiday challenge, the 1st of December, and today is 22 days. And three days from now, Christmas Day, I will draw a name of one person who has texted, and you can do this today. We already have over, I think over 30 people, 30 names in the pool who have been making comments, sharing, and also texting gift me to 818-221-2797. And why did I start this challenge, the holiday challenge? I call it the challenge because it is a challenge to come live every single day and not for me, not for you, but to bring a spirit of affirmation, inspiration, a damnation. Even through this hard times, yes, there is war going on, there is famine, there is homelessness, 
there is sickness. I am, I am in the know-how for all of that. I am not denying it, negating it, or bypassing it. But for me to be here for you, it's the same way as I am here with my clients. If a client comes in in a negative mode and I go into sync mode, and if I am not having a day that is loving and nurturing or upset and bring that into the same world, same room, same energy for my client, how am I doing good for my client? How am I doing good for you? If I only remind you of what it's already reality and you already know. So my mission is to help you heal within to empower you and help you and remind you to stand up for you. To remind you that when something is negative and it's worrisome, turn it into concern because there's always a solution and resolution for something that is concerning. It's a more positive way. So when the spiral is going downwards, remember candy canes, the cotton candies. And when you go to a fanfare or any kind of a place, it's so magical to go and see this cotton, cotton candy swirl going round and about. And it's just a stick. And this person takes that stick and says, what color do you want? And every girl says, I want the pink and someone says I want the rainbow and the sky takes that stick the magic wand and goes and the swirl goes round and about round and about round and about and creates this beautiful cotton candy and hands it to you that's called the magic wand that places a smile, the biggest smile on that child's face. And just by eating it, it's the most marvelous thing. The same way as an ice cream, a cookie, because every single one reminds you of a joy that was once given and experienced. So today, being in this festive world, create the festivity within you because you do deserve it. Holiday spirit is your spirit being lifted. And no matter what holiday you are celebrating, may it be Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's, Kwanzaa. May the spirit of giving and receiving be yours and your loved ones. So I see no suggestions. Uh, is there any? Come on, if this is making uh, a sense if you are connecting resonating with today's message by all means say something say yes uh or if you are watching this on a replay please hashtag replay let me know your thoughts let me know what is the best gift the most magical experience or magical gift you received as a child or even as an adult making a wish and remember, wishes do come true. So for today, I thank you for being present, for being here. And God bless you. And allow me to finish with another vibration. Oh.
and remember prayer and singing is the same. Um, and for closures, I want to thank each and every one of you, for I am grateful to you. I am grateful for all the connections and the friendships, the old ones, my friends that I've had for over a half a century from the time we were friends for first grade. Jackie, Ida, Giselle, Maggie, Garine, Julie, Nina. We were the seven musketeers. I am grateful to my family for without them, I would not be here. And we all have gone through many challenges. And with the grace of God, we're still together. Celebrating, empowering, loving, and supporting one another. And to the new friends that I have made this year, that I have met even through COVID, I want to say, I love you too. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you all. See you next week before the end of the year. Incredible, incredible and powerful closing for the year. May we all come together. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.